underneath him as well. Let's see what he can do here in segment number two, 10 laps down to the line. American Ethanol green flag is in the air, and they're nose to nose as they hit the start finish line. Chase Elliott to the outside lane. Kyle Larson looking to go up the middle. Elliott will have none of that. Uh, Larson will fall back in the line for now. Now he looks things to the outside. Three wide for the top spot. Dylan to the bottom. Chase Elliott in the middle. Here comes Kyle Larson top side. Kyle Larson on the high side. There's three wide. Chase Elliott caught in the middle, and Greg Biffle just buries it down to the inside. Give Biffle the third spot. Give Biffle second. Now he chases Austin Dillon off turn four. This is completing lap number one of this second 20-lap segment. Austin Dillon, Greg Biffle, Kyle Larson. They're the front three trying to get away. Single out into turn number one for now. Dillon right to the bottom. Here's Biffle using the middle of the racetrack, trying to build a run onto the back straightaway. Greg Biffle right in the tire track now of Austin Dillon as they work their way into turn number three. Dillon sets the car. Now down, left side tires right down on the white line. Biffle running a groove or two higher. Kyle Larson in the third spot looking low on Biffle. Chase Elliott restarted in the number one position. He has backslid now to the number five spot. They're two wide behind him with A.J. Allmendinger and uh, and a couple of other cars right on his back bumper. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. in that pack of traffic. He'll slide up the racetrack to the exit of turn two, gets the outside wall, and allows Allmendinger to make the pass. A.J. Allmendinger not happy with just passing Stenhouse. He looks to the low side. He's side by side with Chase Elliott into turn number three. Gives Allmendinger another spot. A.J. Allmendinger up the fifth spot. As Chase Elliott falls back from the pole on the restart to the number six position, the trouble at the back door is not done quite yet in turn one. Ricky Stenhouse is there within a car length, but Stenhouse did tag the wall a lap ago. Doesn't appear to be affecting him all that badly this time by as he's still within one car length. Ricky Stenhouse Jr., about two or three car lengths, as uh, Kyle mentioned, off the uh, back bumper of Chase Elliott. Chase Elliott runs into six spot. A bit of a distance.